Hey guys, what's up? It's Tony Bucks here. Welcome back to Let's Play Scooby-Doo Night of Hunter Frights. This is episode 9. And yeah, it turns out I'm an idiot. Uh, so thank you to, once again, the Capulous Gaudi. I am so sorry for mispronouncing your name. I didn't hear you see your intro in your video. I was... What? You're not... You're never gonna see this video, but... Uh... Basically what I did, I was watching, like, um... He, he, he and his friend were playing through a speed... Not speed run. A long play version of the game. And I just screwed that up. Okay, I deserve that. I was impatient. So what you do... Because you can actually wait for that to rise. Which, unbeknownst to me, I did not know last episode. So... <laughs> yeah, that's why the last episode was 11 minutes long. I apologize for the short video. I'm not even sure... I wanna, I'm definitely going to upload it because I... Did some stuff in it, but... I probably could have honestly just re-recorded all this, this shenanigans here. But... I decided to keep it just for the... Just for the sake of it. So yeah, watch this. That is so frustrating. I couldn't. I was too stupid to figure that out. Not too stupid. I was impatient. All right. Look at that. Wow. If I fail. Give me some health, or not. That works. Eh. I don't know. Oh, this one might be a difficult day. Okay, we got it. Oh, man. <gasps> oh, we had it, though. Wow. This game really likes flipping you the bird on this level, doesn't it? Or this area. <sighs> Easy fix, I guess, but... My lord. This game is giving me so much trouble. Like, I swear to you, I've had more... Less trouble in, like, more difficult games. Or, yeah. I can't even think of any specific examples right now, because I'm still recording the night of... Last video. But... I guarantee you that there's been a more difficult let's play I've done on my channel. Even probably once I haven't finished. But, well, in theory, they should be harder, but this game's giving me a lot more difficulty. Just because I'm, you know, a little bit newer to the I'm not, I'm not even new to the game. I played this game as a kid. But, like I said, never finished as a kid, so. This is like a bucket list. I'm freaking. Every let's play I do is a bucket list item for me. Just because. I mean, they're going back in time to, like, the simpler days of video games, so before I, like, play games that I played as a kid. Or stuff that I played as a kid that I was never able to finish. Okay. Oh, I almost lost my mind if I would have fallen. I'm gonna be straight up with you, I would've been really upset. Um... Sonic and- Wait, you can do- Stun monsters momentarily, eh? I think this will just kill it. Yeah, I was say that. Screw stunning, that just destroyed him. Wow. A tight spot for a grave plot. Wow, I love the names in this game. Or the levels. Okay, we're in a new area. Okay, we see some keys. You know, guys, I think this is going to be an episode where I actually have content. Last episode, episode 8 of this series. I am so sorry if I sat, made you sit through that. For the invulnerable ghosts, they haunt both paths, high and low. Okay. Oh my god. Is there a key here? Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's making me reset it too. Oh, this is gonna be a freaking treat. I can tell you right off the bat that this is going to be... This is gonna be annoying. Yeah. But those of you that are wondering, like, if I'm, like, toning myself down for this LP, kinda, but kinda not. 
this is kind of just how I am as a person. I don't really swear too much, so. If you guys are like kids watching this and you're like, hey, I wonder if this guy's cool outside of this LP. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'll say something every once in a while if I get frustrated, but I'm not the type of guy that's just like, just cussing up a storm just for views or whatever. I mean, not that other people do that for views, but I don't know. Not there's anything wrong with swearing. Oh, hello. Oh. Uh, wait, did I get all the keys? Was there only three? Guess there's only three. Oh my gosh. What? Look what ominous this is. Like, what's it, what's in the pots? Oh, love the engraved S for Scooby doing the Scooby snack. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm guessing this is gonna be another time trial. Oh, wow. I didn't hit that button. Okay, we're gonna hit this button. I'm gonna see what this does. I deserve that. I'm sorry for being so quiet. Like I said, I'm recording this super late at night. So I'm like kinda... Just uh... Sorry, I'm being really quiet. I'm trying to focus. Cause if I don't focus, I'll probably die. Oh, I see. I understand. Sure, SpongeBob. I understand. You know, I can get behind this parkour. This isn't too bad. Hmm. Yo, didn't mean to do that, but I did it. Take that, haters. Now we're waiting for that. This is literally just like muscle memory parkour and I love it. I love it and I hate it. The frustrating parts can kind of just die in a fire. I mean, oops, demonetized. Oh wait, by the time this video goes up, I might have lost monetization on my channel completely. I don't know yet though. I mean, I do know. Um, am I not supposed to hit this or something? I don't think I'm supposed to be able to hit this. Oh, I see. Am I supposed to hit that? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Like, partially? Yep, there we go. Because that opens the other door. But that begs the question, what's over here? Literally just a sandwich? Okay. Very odd. That's some very odd game design. I'm not going to judge, though. Cause I, I really appreciate this game. I would even go to say as go as far as to say that I'm a fan of this game. Okay, gargoyle, screw off, please. I'm, 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 I'd probably honestly play this game again in the future at some point. Not for YouTube, probably, unless there's like a stream of it. Oh wow, it's the it's the green phantom dude. I don't remember the name. I think it's literally just called the, the shadow or something. Not the shadow. It's like the, it's I think it's called the green phantom or something. And my footage is... Oh, what a, what a riveting LP. Guys, I thought you had to know in episode 9 of this series that my footage is... What a weirdo. Okay, what... Uh, eh. right, we're not going to leave this room just yet, because there's got to be more stuff. Oh, yeah. These steps appear to slide off in the wall. Look for a way to activate them. I'm assuming I have to go through one of these doors, probably. A one-way trip to the crypt. Trip to the crypt. Keep out. Clearly, I have to go in it. Who? Odd. I don't understand the point. Who? Food. There's probably a monster in one of these. Yeah, I called that one. I'm not stupid. This is jump scares 101. One v one me and Roblox, mate. Beware. Man, these zombies. I also like really appreciate the developers of this game for actually putting the zombie in the crypt. Like that's 
I know it's like not too clever, but it's like, hey, I can appreciate that subtle, like, humor. Is that all I can do here? Is there anything of value other than just killing some zombies? Oh, it's a warp gate. Mausoleum. Um, okay, we just spent our entire supply of Scooby Snacks. I didn't even mean to do that. Gloom and doom down in the tomb. Huh. I guess we're saving. Oh, we are going to be so screwed if I did buy anything else. Get out of here, werewolf. We gotta, from here on out, we're getting Scooby Snacks everywhere. Like, I don't really care. I'm going to waste time getting snacks of the Scooby variety. Um, get rid of these creeps. Do something... Oh, am I supposed to... I see. I thought I saw, but I got destroyed. I thought I was supposed to jump off and hit him. All the way back here. Gosh darn it. It's a small annoyance, but... Still an annoyance. Okay, maybe I don't have to do that. I could be wrong. Werewolf, don't have time. Don't have time, nor the money. Come on. But yeah, I'm always open to more suggestions for Let's Plays. Um, what's this? What did that do? What the heck is above me? I don't even... I'm confused. Ow. Yo, can this game really? I'm not like, not in the mood to be trolled. For this game. Look, so it stuns nearby enemy. Wait, can I actually do that then? Can I step on this and can I come here? I think it's designed so you can't do that. Maybe I don't know. I'm so sorry that I sound mumbly and tired. It's because I'm simply that, mumbly and tired. I think it's literally designed so you, it kind of like screws you out of that, you can't... There's clearly something I'm missing. As every episode in the series shows off, demonstrates, I'm always one step off. I just don't understand. Come on. I'm sorry for being so quiet. I'm literally just trying to think. Wait. Yo, come on. Some frustrating stuff. You guys probably think I'm joking. I'm really not. So from what I understand, I can't jump there? Because science? Oh, yes, yeah, here we go. Okay, he just stuns you from like that far away, so you can't access him I, or hit him. But what the heck? There's somebody back here. I am. I. I'm so tired of this game. Like. I love it so far, but like, I'm sick and tired of getting into a new area, excited to actually upload a video with content, and then me getting stuck on what I assume is just some kind of asinine puzzle. Can I body slam this? Nope. Okay, death awaits you.
Okay, I'm trying to think of this logically. Like, so you got monsters there. You got a button here. Okay, pumpkin, stop it. I can only assume this is gonna be something really stupid as well. Okay, so we got over to the platform, right? But that's just death, like you can't that's probably gonna reset that guy as well, right? Yeah, I think that reset him. I'm fairly certain. I think what it wants me to do is jump to each platform and just slowly but surely annihilate them. I think is what it's trying to get me to go for, but it's so... so bad. Why am I frustrated? This is 20 years old. I can't figure out a fucking Scooby-Doo game, dude. That's so stupid. There's like an invisible wall here, too, so you can't jump high. Like, excuse me? What are you trying to do? You can't. Uh, this game is putting a bad taste in my mouth at the moment. I'm not even gonna be. I'm not lying to you guys. I'm gonna be straight up. Finishing this let's play, but I might have to refer to YouTube again. I don't. Wait, I. D I hate when games do this, where it's, like, obviously you need a guide, or have had experience with this before, but I don't... So did this get knocked over there? Did these fall? Is that what that does? Oh, you know what? I just figured it out. I think I might have figured it out. Let's see. Let's test my game theory. Are these things standing up when I get in here? No, they're not. Okay, so what the heck does this button do? I was thinking that'd be like, hey, you gotta jump down on them. I hate this game, man. It's so stupid. Like, why? Why is this designed for a kid? Or how is this designed for a kid? I don't understand. Like, who developed this game? They should not be developing games. Okay, that's that's probably a bit too far. That's not true. This is a fun game. But yeah, I just think it's they missed the, its mark with, like, how the skill level is. Like, I don't understand. Man, I don't. I'm just tired. I think I just gotta set this game down. Look up how to do every single thing. Write down a notebook of every little single thing you have to do in this. And then, once I have every single little thing written down in that notebook, come back and beat the game. Because I don't think I can do this with just me. I kind of genuinely believe that to a certain extent. Well, you can't even get- I'm done. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't- I, Before I freak out in this game, I'm gonna have to stop because I know my limits and I'm just about there. I'll give it one last attempt, and that if I fall, I'm just gonna say... I'm just gonna say, uh... Yeah, that's done. Okay, peace out.